We're going to start with serving. So, if we can get Russ, anything, two things you teach on serving, grab somebody. Two, trusting, right? Am I on here? Okay. Two. Anybody. Anybody who can uh, serve. <laughs> you need a mom, right? I need two people who can serve. First thing, find somebody that can serve. All right? Don't think that everybody can serve because you already know that everybody can't serve because you're on the bench sometimes and somebody's going back there and they're getting crazy and you're gone, there's no chance she's gonna make her serve. And so find somebody that can make her serve. What do I want them to do? Uh, assuming they've warmed up, I just want them to start on the MI and let me just see you toss the ball, step into it and hit it hard. Just hit the ball hard. I don't care if you hit it in or hit it into the net. Good, okay, let's get another two balls here. Good, now what I want you to do is hit the ball between the top of the net and the antenna, all right? So it's gotta be the low and flat trajectory. Back up as far as you want, knowing that you're gonna hit it hard. All right, hit it hard and flat. Good, let's back up a little bit more and uh, hit it harder and flatter. Again, if you hit the tape, it's good, it's not bad. Good, good. Uh, oh, hey, hey, we got fans over here. Good one. Back up even further. There's nothing to prevent you from getting back here. Way back here. Isn't that why there's a basketball court here? So there's more lines. Back it up a little bit more. Right here, good. Hard and flat. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, this time let's make it flat. Okay, we, went, we gave up. So it looks like from about 10 feet, we gave up hard and flat to hitting it in the court, which I think there's times in rally score, I always want them to have the ability to hit it in the court. Just because the rotation of the game might force me to have a player serving who traditionally is not a good server. But right now, I want you guys match point in here to go to the final four. Let me see your money serve. Back it up and hit it hard, one at a time. It's okay. It's a, they were out of rotation. Good, okay. All right, next two. Who's, who's the violation, right? If they hit the ball and they're out of rotation, what's the, who's the winner? These guys or these guys? You need to know the rules, right? Think about it. I don't know the answer. All right. Next, uh, next coach. I agree with Russ. We don't serve tough enough. Their team is the best serving team in the country the last several years. And I, his philosophy is what he, he's just standing here telling you. Serve harder. Serve faster. We get a radar gun in our gym. We bought one, you can get them pretty cheaply. At least for us, it was cheap, I guess. And we give an, the players an idea of how fast they serve. And we know now the, the miles per hour that we have to serve in order for it to be tougher. It's some pretty good information that we can get on the game and serve tougher. But to serve tougher, you have to say it's okay to miss when you're going through the process. We were in misery in January and February working on this. It was one of our primary goals. Um, just trying to serve tougher, but then you then you find out your skills have to be better. There's a lot of crummy serving going on out there, skill-wise, tossing-wise, and we have to make it better. We're way better at these things than we are at this, because we just get away from it because it's easy to do. But it's easy to do at a low level. It's not easy to do at a high level. And so we just have to serve tougher. So I agree with Russ. That's my message. Okay, next. So I want to make sure all of you understand one of the things that we're doing is, hey, a ball can travel in volleyball by floating so it doesn't spin. So you've got to make sure, hey, if I contact the ball in the middle, it's not going to spin. Even if I do that, if I contact it in the middle, it doesn't spin. That's actually a good serve for really young kids is to just stand on the end line and just hit the center of the ball. And then we have top spin. Top of the ball, top spin. Hey, they, that only works if your player can jump above the net to hit the top of the ball. So, top of the ball, top spin is great when I'm a spiker. The, the next thing is back of the ball, top spin. I'm hitting the back of the ball, back or bottom of the ball and snapping my wrist forward. So, that's the top spin ball that I can learn from serving on the end line. And I think just to reiterate what Michael said, hey, can they float the ball to a wall, get a line seven, four, and eight feet, serve at a wall? Can they float it? Hey, uh, serves that no longer occur, but if we could get just people to serve a top spin ball standing on the floor, hey, that's a back of the ball top spin serve, just standing. And then you can add all kinds of spins to it. 
Those are great things for people to distinguish first between float, top of the ball, top spin, when you can't serve the ball over the net, but top of the ball, top spin, has to be back of the ball, bottom of the ball. But the key is, can I float a ball? Okay? And, John. Is it now? Okay, thank you. I'll get over that. Um, just I want to add something. Uh, about 10 years ago for me, I made a decision to try to figure out how to teach skills. I mean, I taught skills for a long time. This is certainly one of them. And I decided to base teaching skills in what I knew doctors or someone, a physiologist, might have uh, a little bit better idea about what's good for your body um, in terms of doing things. So that's how we decide posture, of how you land, all right? And so serving for me is one of them. That I think, with a few exceptions, because there are great athletes and people who do great things no matter how they do it, or how it feels to someone else, is that your hand and your arm and your shoulder are supposed to be for feel and serving. They're the thing that delivers your power. The more you use them to create the power or be your power source, the more you have a chance of being injured, doing it a lot. Um, so. We think that, I think, that the power should come from your body. And so, Cass, can you serve some without, one without rotation? So you're just gonna face her target, not open her shoulders, arch a little bit, not a lot, and, okay, she still can't, she still opens her shoulders up. If you stand and do this, which most of the kids at our server camps do without a lot of rotation, then your arm and your shoulder and your hand are the power, primary power source, and so is your lower back. All right, so Cass kind of had to relearn this a little bit in college and learn how to open her shoulders more, float her the shoulder, yeah, use your body. Okay, so she's opening the ear more, bringing her hitting shoulder through more, all right? And for me, then you can get the power to come from your body and the feel to come from this part. The more you generate speed with this, the more tension you have and the more you miss under pressure anyway, I think.